Hello, I'm Andre J, and today I would like to talk to you about Convolutional Chaos, one of the new titles in the 1.5 updates for the Video Synthesis Ecosphere Arpine. Um, and also, I want to tell you a little bit about the Master Boot option. I've covered it in a couple other videos, but it can't hurt to reiterate what Master Boot means. Um, so. For each one of these images, if you go to my website, uh, there's a link in the comments where it shows you each one of the images, and there's 12 different images for the VSC RPI right now. Um, so if you want to like play any of the different synths on any single one that you have, if you have a wave pool, you can also play Chromatic Aberration or Convolutional Chaos. You can also always just uh, take an SD card and write uh, the image on it, have an extra SD card around, put the image on it, and then just swap SD cards around. I'll swap SD cards when your Pi is powered off. Uh, in the last video, when I talked about uh, Hello Word, uh, we also talked about how you can change which program auto runs on your specific unit. And there's another way you can play the different uh, instruments is that, so if you've loaded something up and then uh, you make sure to have a mouse and a keyboard plugged into your uh, Pi, and you press escape when something's run up, you can use something called the master boot option. So if I go here where it says Vsur Pi master boot, you see there's all these SH files here, and I want to play Convolutional Chaos, so I'm going to double click on this, It'll say, what do you want to do with it? And I want to execute this in the terminal. And it'll do this whole thing where it auto runs some text for a bit. And um, you have to wait a little bit for it to, to, to warm up. And then it'll be a black screen for a second because it takes a couple of, um, couple of seconds for the USB camera to kick into action. So we'll just kind of wait here and enjoy some tea. I'm drinking herbal tea now. This is um, a blend of rooibos, damiana, tulsi, um, mace, um, ginger, raw ginger, um, cardamom, and uh, clove. Here's to herbal tea. So convolutional chaos, what is it? Um, so for a little bit of context, uh, uh, I spent a while uh, working on like digital feedback systems before I came up with the one that you see in um, WavePool. And uh, the, the original sort of thing I started playing around with was, first I started playing around with like pure cellular automata style stuff, uh, uh, and that was pretty fun. <clears throat> And then uh, I started studying like reaction diffusion systems more explicitly, and uh, 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 in, in studying those, I realized that like basically the, the the same sort of stuff that was going on in a reaction like the Gray Scott uh, is it Gray Scott? I always forget. I think I mispronounced that uh, uh, malapropin all the time. Um, but what's going on in that reaction diffusion system is actually. Um, the, the, the a very similar, uh, pretty much an identical mathematical structure to what in image processing you'd call a convolution. If you've ever messed around with like um, Photoshop uh, uh, or image processing things, uh, sometimes you'll notice there's a section called filters, which is also will allow you to like edit like a convolutional kernel. Um, so uh, that was one form of experimentation I did with uh, video feedback. Uh, WavePool itself and video waves don't actually explicitly use that kind of uh, uh, convolution. Uh, they're much simpler than this, but I decided to try to play around with more a more explicit, uh, or allow people to play around with the more explicit form of uh, convolution uh, feedback. So what's going on here is that similar to how things were worked in the old uh, uh, chromatic aberration. Uh, each one of these sliders and knobs, like vertically aligned sliders and knobs, is going to refer to how much weight one pixel has in a sort of like 8x8 eight eight convolution uh, around each single pixel, and the total distance of each pixel. So uh, uh, weight is going to be uh, bipolar, meaning that 0 is in the middle and it goes from negative 1 to 1, uh, but distance is unipolar, meaning that like as you press it up or down, you can take the distance like far away or pretty much non-existent. 
So, uh, and all of these things, uh, uh, all eight uh, pairs of sliders and knobs refer to a different uh, pixel in the convolutional kick matrix. So if you have like a pixel right here, then there's a little like uh, 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 eight pixels immediately surrounding that. We can individually mix them in uh, uh, with different weights and distances. So yeah, it's a pretty simple concept. Uh, we don't really have chroma keying here. This is just going to be sort of mixing. some pretty interesting things to do when you blend like different weights of like positive and negative um, things. But yeah, in a nutshell, that's convolutional chaos. It's quite simple, but there's really a lot you can do in here. You don't really get like the specific kind of like XY controls or um, zooming or stuff or the, the hue controls that you get in wave pool but instead what you get is a uh, ability to do really kind of like a set of really abstract things i originally started out thinking it would be fun to do this kind of like oh it'd be like you have presets for like sharpen and emboss and blur and stuff like that but once i tried this method and i was just like oh yeah we could just go all out crazy with like uh basically a channel like individual pixel feedback things happening so <laughs> that's what we got here. So that's convolutional chaos. Super easy and really flexible. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope everyone has a good time exploring this really weird world. Um, and uh, uh, just to reiterate the same sort of like uh, PBS um, fundraising spiel I've been doing in each one of these videos. Um, Stuff like Convolutional Chaos, uh, this is never going to be for sale. Uh, this is only kind of what was called like a bonus image. Uh, and you used to be able to buy things like wave pools and spectral meshes and stuff. Uh, the Etsy shop is closed uh, temporarily. Well, the Etsy shop is probably closed for good, um, but I'll still be doing limited sales runs of things throughout this year as parts uh, uh, come in. Um, if you want to get notified about these kind of sales, go to my website. There's a link in the description here. And sign up for the, the notification list. Uh, that's the only way you'll be able to buy things for the immediate future, uh, is if you sign up for that list. Um, but uh, uh, my future plans involve trying to get away from marketing, sales, business sides of things, and try to focus more on uh, just doing research and design and also educational stuff and making it easier for everyone to sort of access this stuff on their own without having to have this sort of like contrived middle person of me or whoever I might hire to like build things and then ship them to you. Uh, instead, you can subscribe to my Patreon and then help support me to do just regular full-time R&D on this kind of stuff. And since Raspberry Pis won't be terribly available for the immediate future, I think the most interesting thing I can do is sort of work both on uh, 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 future hardware sets that we can use that can definitely like that could you know change the game of like how these work, make them HD, have like multiple video outputs, um, and also to work on making the desktop versions of all of these um, easier and more accessible. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, contributing to like general development for this stuff, uh, head on over to the Patreon and uh, um, sign up. There's a bunch of different ranges. You can sign up for as low as five dollars a month. You can go as high as five dollars a month, which I doubt most people are going to do. But I thought, you know, throw it in there. Maybe some rich person will stop by and be like, "Oh, this is cool." Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I've said in a bunch of these, if really just a couple of hundred people who are all interested in kind of supporting this sort of ongoing like open source public domain video synthesis and video processing tool production all get together and just sign up for five dollars a month um, that would be like sort of uh, uh, that would make it so I can just full-time focus on not just the development sides of things but uh, uh, also making educational stuff like this where I show people how to you know make their own ones of Looks like I accidentally found like a blur. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty strange zones.
But yeah, so, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, if there's any sort of modes or improvements you'd like to see happen in here. And remember that basically any sort of updates and improvements to these kind of things is entirely dependent on uh, uh, community support uh, via the Patreon or PayPal donations, which you can get on our website. <laughs> All right, cool. That's about it for Convolutional Chaos. Hope everyone has fun with this one, and bye!